in this lecture we will learn about what is known as remote procedure call okay so remote procedure call is quite an interesting concept and what it says is that let's think that you have one computer here and another computer is on the network okay so it's somewhere else but what it does is that this computer provides some apis okay so it says that it has some procedures it has some procedures which can be run and they can be run from this computer itself and it gives you the feeling that you are running that function on your computer itself so that is the beauty of remote procedure call so for example if let's say there is a function int sum int a int b okay so this is some very simple function but what happens is that when you call this function so sum 8 comma 5 so what will happen is that this summation the work of this function is not done on your computer but it goes there to the remote computer and on that computer it runs that function runs the procedure and then whatever is the result it is given back to that particular your computer the local computer so this is rem remote procedure call ba basically i am calling a function but whatever function the work is there it is being done on some another computer and then it the reply or the result is getting back to you so this remote procedure call is a high level model for client server communication so basically there is communication between two processes okay that is happening and those two processes are on different computers or they can be on the same computer so it provides programmers with a familiar mechanism for building and this is very important for distributed systems basically all the computers are in distributed systems so they are taking help of each other so this particular computer hack has capability of calculating something and the other computers will have the remote procedure calls for getting those functions done from other computer so why we need remote procedure call so the client needs easy way to call the procedures of the server so if on the server let's say there are some uh, services so the client can easily in his code he can write the remote procedure calls and do his work and rpc enables the client to communicate with servers by calling the remote procedures and which is similar to calling something on your local computer so let's try to see how does now what is the thing how does it operate really what is happening when a process on machine a calls a procedure on machine b the calling process on a is suspended okay so now let's try to see what will happen now let's try to see what will happen in rpc so basically now i say let's see the figure and then it will help us understand so one figure here is saying that client is there okay so it calls the procedure okay it calls okay that function sum a comma b and then it calls it this now request is being sent to the server server now receives the request that okay a procedure needs to be called and that is of sum two numbers then it adds them and sends the reply back to the request client okay and it now gets the answer and it resumes its e execution so this is a blocking state okay so this is a blocking call and okay and when this is blocked when it sends request this one executes and sends a reply back then it blocking state ends and it executes the code again so now let's try to see some of the limitations shall we see afterwards or beforehand okay before by knowing this you can understand the limitations yourself okay so let's try to see the figure itself and that will help us understand so this is the most important figure that will help you understand there is a client computer so what it does the, there is a client and there is a server computer so what happens it calls 
ओके आई मेक अ लोकल कॉल सम एंड आई राइट हियर इंट ए इज इक्वल टू फाइव कॉमा बी इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड आई कॉल सम ए कॉमा बी सो नाउ दिस इज अ रिमोट कॉल सो वॉट विल हैपन दिस मैसेज दैट ओके यू नीड टू डू द सम ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज सेंट टू द remote machine so but what happens because it looks to you as a local so first it is sent to your local machine and there is a stub here and then it sends your request to the other machine so there is a client is there there is a client stub and what it does now it sends request to the other machine this one receives the request then what happens there will be many functions okay so this computer let's say it provides interfaces for some remote procedures for some difference of a and b okay so int let's say this is also int then we have multiply so it is a multiply a comma b and then double divide a comma b so these procedures are there on this computer so there is a list of functions which this computer has and now what happens this one executes and this receives a request the server now it has to know okay which function is there so of course it will see the function name and from there it will find which is the procedure i need to execute it unmarshals the request so i now see here some word marshal and marshal argument unmarshal argument so we will see what it is so now basically it somehow it gets the argument from your function and then what happens is it basically now executes the procedure and then what happens it has now got a result okay so that result it marshals the result again so basically it gets the result and then it sends the reply back and sends the reply back so this line so it goes here it receives the reply and unmarshals the result so what is marshalling and unmarshalling this is the thing that we need to know so marshalling means basically i have to send a message okay so in that what happens you have to basically in a message everything needs to be in byte stored in form of a byte so what happens is i send the function name will be my first thing so this i will form it in form of a string then i will say that okay next thing is it is int type and there is the value okay so i will pass by value so in this one in your rpc there is always pass by value so i will pass by value say that the type is int and then i will say what is the value so let's say 5 then i will say say that okay what is the next argument so it is int again and its value is 10 and then i will pass so i will have the somehow i need to tell him what is my function name and what are the arguments that i am passing okay then this one receives it so this is the marshalling code i am sending a byte a buffer or a string where i have all these data now it receives request first it will see what is the function name or procedure name then it unmarshals the argument okay and what happens now he will know that okay which the last one is the second argument then this is the first argument he will unmarshal them argument execute the function sum 5 comma 10 and then he will get the result which is again an int so he will again put it in form of a buffer or a string then he will send the reply back and that reply will be received here he will now know that okay it is 15 int 15 he will get the answer on marshal it and then he will have the value so all the time while the message was sent the procedure was executed and then the reply came so this person was blocking in a blocking call and then what he does now he returns and executes his function okay he gets the result so this way you see that this is the remote procedure call where this function was executed on the remote computer and because of that he had to send a request where he had to marshal all the arguments and the function name and moreover might be the return value what type it is and then all this went 
now one question you might ask how does this know that okay this function is there on this remote computer so the thing is that this server it has one register register where it has all these apis that it tells other people advertises that what apis i have or the procedures i can execute so based on that these people can know the clients can know and then execute the functions okay but here you need to handle a few errors one of them is like message when we are sending the message it might fail so those kind of errors you need to handle so i hope you understand what is remote procedure call thanks a lot